Hello everyone, my name is Janae and thank you for joining me tonight on Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Tonight we're going to be doing an unboxing from the Diamond Art Club and this painting is called The Way the World Used to Be. The artist Joe Joe's Art and this painting was inspired by the Australian fires. Now when I first saw this painting being unboxed I was just blown away. This painting is gorgeous. So if you haven't seen it yet, be prepared. It is just amazing. And the artist is wonderful. Now this is actually my first JoJo's art painting. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But before we actually open the box and go through everything that's in there, I wanted to do a couple of things here. First, there's going to be an event going from May 1st to May 31st, and it is called Spring Into May. This event is being held by um, a Facebook group called Crafty Things by Janae and Island Girl. If you're interested in joining, we would love to have you. All the information in regards to that event will be down below in the comments, so please check it out, and if you're interested, we'd love to have you join us. There will be three prizes at the end of the event and there will be some surprise prizes in the middle of the event. So again, all that information down below in the description. Also, for those of you that are new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you hear, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that's right next door to that subscribe button that bell will indicate when I've uploaded my next video. So let's get into this box, shall we? All right. So again, if you're new to diamond painting, Diamond Art Club always has the nine steps of diamond painting on the back of their box. And what's really nice is they also have some helpful tips underneath there. These tips will help you along your way completing that project. Also, one thing about Diamond Art Club that I really like, and this is one of the reasons why I highly recommend them, is that their paintings are very easy to follow. Their drill field is very clear and their symbols are very easy to read. So, highly recommend Diamond Art Club. Yes, they're a bit on the pricey side, but with the quality that you get in your kits, it's well worth the price especially if you, you know, hit that clearance tab because you can get some really good deals through the clearance tab. Just wanted to toss that in as well. So again, if you are a new diamond painter, there's always three things that's included in your kit. And that would be your canvas, your drills, and your tool kit. So let's open this one up. I did take the plastic coat off of it, so it's just a lot easier to open. So we have our canvas, and a tool kit, what's this, okay, we'll discuss that in a minute, hmm, there they come, <laughs> and the drills. So. Those are the three items that you should always receive in your diamond painting kit. Now we're gonna take the drills and put them off to the side. We'll look at those in a minute. But first we're gonna go over <clears throat> the tool kit. So the Diamond Art Club has two different tool kits. They have a round tool kit and then they have a square tool kit. The only difference between the two tool kits is that the square tool kit will have a pair of tweezers. The rounds do not. You don't necessarily need tweezers. However, I do recommend if you're new to diamond painting to go to your local dollar store and pick up a pair of just $1.50 pair of tweezers and always have them on hand because sometimes you do need them with rounds. I find that with rounds I don't need them as much, but I always have a pair of tweezers on hand. Now, in the Diamond Art Club, we're just gonna open this up and go through this really quick and show you what 
to expect from their toolkit. I think I got everything in. So you'll get a handful of Ziploc bags, two heart shape waxes, a single placer pin with a comfort grip, a six placer, and a clear tray with a spout. Now, some of you that are new, you might be asking what are the ridges in the trays for? The ridges for the trays are when you pour in your diamonds and you just kind of shake them about, those diamonds will come up right and they start separating and going to rows. So that's the reason why those ridges are there, just in case you're wondering. So we're just going to put all of this back really quickly. Oops. Now, one thing that the Diamond Art Club provides that a lot of stores don't is their schematics and their thumbnail in sticker form. So we're gonna show you that quickly here. Just gonna smooth it out. There we go. So here it is. Now this is a really nice tool to have the Diamond Art Club provides. Again, it is the thumbnail of the painting here. And then you have your schematic or legend off to the side. Now this is sticker form, so you can cut up the legend. And if you use a storage container system or Ziploc bags, you can use these and paste that on there. Or if you prefer, you could always leave it intact and have it off to the side next to you and just use that as a reference. Now what I do is I cut out the thumbnail picture and I put this in a journal and then that way it keeps track of my paintings and I can always jot down information while I'm doing my projects. I will be doing a video on that uh, probably in the next few weeks just to show you how I get my canvases and my projects set up in my journal. All right, so let's put this off to the side. Okay, so next is your canvas. Now, Diamond Art Club is one of the stores that I find that their canvas is just amazing. So I'm going to go through that as we unravel this. Now, if you've never purchased from the Diamond Art Club, one thing that you'll come across when you do purchase a painting from them is how super soft and velvety the back of this painting is. It's just really soft. So every kit also includes this three panel pamphlet, which will have a thank you letter from Angie, the founder and owner of Diamond Art Club. You will also have the nine steps of diamond painting um, inside here as well. Right there. And then you also get a thank you in the back of the pamphlet with a discount code for your next purchase. This is always great to have. All right, so a little bit about this. I ordered this painting on April 11th and I received it on April 24th. So this is a full round. And one thing that we're gonna do first is we're going to flatten or straighten this canvas out. So in order to do that, we're going to roll it the opposite direction. All right, and then we're gonna hold this here for approximately 30 seconds. Now, one thing I was going to bring up is that the Diamond Art Club uses the poured glue method. Now, what that means is that when you receive your painting, a couple of things you're gonna find different than the double-sided adhesive. One, the paintings are usually rolled inward. So you don't actually see the protective sheet or the actual image of the painting. It's always gonna be rolled inside. Another difference is that you're going to know is that with poured glue, 
they use a clear cellophane like protective sheet to cover the glue versus the double-sided adhesive which uses an opaque paper. So that's the difference between one and the other. Now if you were trying to straighten out a double-sided adhesive painting this is not the way to do it. You will cause more headache and more problems by trying to roll it the opposite direction. So never roll a double-sided adhesive painting the opposite direction. Believe me, it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. So let's take a look at this painting. Wow, that is going to look amazing. Oh, I just, like I said, when I saw this being unboxed, I'm like, oh, this is a must have. This is a must have. Okay, so let's go over the details of this painting. This is a 56 by 71 centimeter, or it is a 22 by 28 inches. It is a full round drill, and it has 44 colors. Looks like it has two AB drills and we'll be going over the drills in a bit. So if you're new to diamond painting and you're wondering what is an AB drill, I'll explain that once we go through all the drills. If you are new to diamond painting, a couple of things I would recommend you do to make it more of a habit is to take your canvas and flip it upside down. Now, the reason why I recommend that, already, I can't believe this, sorry. <laughs> Um, already had dog hair on it. <laughs> so anyway, um, to get back. The reason why I recommend this, if you're new, make this a habit. And the reason for that is, is when you do receive paintings that is double-sided adhesive, it's always best to look at the back of the painting. Now this isn't double-sided adhesive, but I just wanted to show you what I mean. So if you were to receive a painting that is double-sided adhesive, flip it upside down, and you're going to examine the back of that canvas. What you're looking for is air bubbles, rivers, puckers, creases. If you can see that on the back of your canvas, you know you're gonna have a problem in the front of the canvas. So that's the reason why I always suggest to newcomers to diamond painting, always examine the back of your painting. And also, when you receive your painting, don't hold on to it too long. Always look through or look at your painting. Make sure you have all your drills, your toolkits, and your canvas is in good condition. The reason why I say that is because a lot of the stores do offer that customer protection or buyer protection, but you have a limited amount of days to be able to file a claim. So make sure that if you do order from overseas or anything like that, always check your product. Don't let it sit for a couple weeks because you may find out later down the road you're no longer protected, okay? So with the Diamond Art Club, because it is poured glue, I'm not overly concerned about find anything, you know, anything abnormal, like rivers, air bubbles, puckers like that. But because this is poured glue, sometimes what will happen is we'll flip our canvas upside down and sometimes you'll see little bumps and you can actually feel it when you rub your hands across the back, but you'll feel these like little bumps here and there. What that actually is, is air trapped between the protective sheet and the glue. So sometimes people will think, oh my God, there's there's an air bubble there. It actually isn't, an, it, well, technically it is an air bubble, but it's not in the glue. It's just air trapped between the canvas and the protective sheet. So nothing to worry about, because I can see there's one here and I can actually feel the air moving around in there. And then there's one right here. There's, they're just little ones, right? So if you were to flip this back upright, right, 
there I can feel them right in here and you can hear it hear that that's where the air is trapped between the protective sheet and the actual drill field so nothing to worry about here all right so let's go ahead we're going to pause the camera bring the camera down so that you can see this beautiful drill field and we're going to show you the clarity of the drill field along with the clarity of the schematics and we'll be right back all right everyone we're back and as you can see this drill field is crystal clear the symbols are so easy to read so again that's one of the reasons why I highly recommend this store to beginners because this canvas is so easy to read and follow so let's show you the schematic some people call it schematic some people call it legend but as you can see that is also very very clear super easy to read okay also we're going to just bring this down a little bit here and we're going to check the glue so basically what i do is i just take my finger just right at the edge here and oops you can't see that and i just just touch it a little bit and if you hear it popping or if it lifts up you know that glue is good i'm gonna bring that back down all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the drills so what I'm going to do, where is my drills? Here they are. So here are the drills. Oops, you can't see that. <laughs> so there are the drills. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera again. I'm going to take the drills out of the plastic bag there so that you don't have to listen to that annoying sound and lift up the camera so, you know, it's not right on top of it. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back, and here are all the colors, excuse me, <clears throat> that are included in your kit. So let's work with this one first and show you all the colors. So we have, okay, so we have 904, 3371, we have one, Two of those bags, eight ninety five, one, two, three, four, five, five of three ten, ouch, <laughs> and one of the th nine three nines. Take a look at these. Boy, this was a long one. All right. So this is thirty-eight sixty, eight forty-four, nine fifty-five, or is that? Sorry. I'm reading it upside down, so it's hard for me to see it. 355. 3024. That looks like, okay, 356. 898. 3773, no, 968, 414, 814. This is a beautiful, beautiful red. Wow. All right. 317. 722, 
I think. Yeah. <laughs> and 890. Really beautiful colors. All right, so we're going to do this strand here. So the first is 743. Really nice, bright, um, I would say it's an yellowish orange. Okay. 3777. 647, 165, really pretty yellow, 762, 30, 33. Now here is our first AB, 141. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it is a special iridescent coating across these drills. So when you put these drills next to your regular facets, it really brings out a lot of sparkle and it really enhances your paintings. So one of the things that the Diamond Art Club does is they do incorporate a lot of their AB drills throughout their paintings. And believe me, it is very, very pretty. Okay, so next is 415. 645. 3772, 754, 3830, 3864, 955, beautiful mint. Now here's our second AB, and this is 134, really nice green, just beautiful. 3861, 815, really nice brick color. Another beautiful mint here. 954, 779, and 318. All right, everyone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these off to the side. <laughs> and let's take one last look at this beautiful painting. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the camera again and we'll be right back. So we're back everyone and again this is called The Way the World Used to Be. This is a 20 by 28 inches or a 56 by 71 centimeters. This has 44 colors, two AB accent drills, full round. This painting is beautiful. Unfortunately, it is sold out on the Diamond Art Club. I do hope that they do bring it back. And if they do, I highly recommend that you take a look and snag one of these. It is such a beautiful painting. I'm looking so forward to doing this. Now again, I will probably kit this up just before May 1st so that I can enter this painting in the May 1st event. Don't forget to go down below in the description if you're interested in joining us with that May event. We would love to have you. So everyone, by saying that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. And also, again, if you're new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell will let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it's afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very restful evening. Again, my name is Janae. Thank you for joining me tonight on the review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.